specifically asks about bond angles. And uh, actually, these are, these are all, uh, there we go. These are all great questions because, again, our process is always do the Lewis structure, um, then figure out what the electron geometry is. I'm going to take a shortcut here. The Lewis structure for ammonia, NH3, looks like this. Again, we have, look, when we look at the central atom, there are one, two, three, four electron groups. Which means that our three magic things, so uh, tetrahedral electron geometry, um, sp3 hybridization, and um, bond angle of 109.5, except that since there's a pair of electrons on the central atom, you have to circle less than 109.5. So that's why it's important. Another reason it's important to be able to draw a good Lewis structure is you have to be able to get to the point where you know how many, if any, pairs of electrons are on that central atom. Then we come down here. Again, this is a multi-question question. Says um, central atom on SO3. Now, a little while back, we drew a best Lewis structure for SO3 two minus. That has two more electrons, and what we will see is that the Lewis structure for just plain old SO3 is considerably different. Um, and uh, so it has 24 uh, electrons, 24 valence electrons to put into it. Doing our best Lewis structure, we connect uh, the sulfur to each of the oxygens. Then we sprinkle our electrons around 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and now we are out. And uh, again, it's so tempting to want to put more than 24 in there because we see that sulfur does not have an octet, but alas, we cannot. Um, okay, but what, we, what are our tools in our tool bag? Well, uh, we can do formal charge analysis. And if we did a formal charge analysis, we would see that each of these oxygens is minus one, and the sulfur is plus three, which is ridiculously high. Our tool bag then says, check, can we do an expanded octet? Well, just as a reminder of when you can and can't do an expanded octet, if you're at between aluminum and argon in the 3P area, and anywhere below it, yes, you can do an expanded octet. If you're in the 2p region, you cannot. So sulfur is definitely Professor. capable of doing an expanded octet. We will form Professor. not one. Question? Yes. Darryl, when you say between aluminum and argon, does that mean aluminum and argon are not included? Oh, no. So, it, so sorry. Good, good point, Daryl. Any of these in the 3P region, including aluminum and argon, okay. can do it. Um, I will say this, argon rarely, if ever, bonds, but we can see some of these other ones bonding down here. But yes, all of the P areas can, in theory, form expanded octets. Okay, so uh, we were just back at SO3. We've just formed three double bonds. Oops, get on there, last oxygen. And then, since this is a Lewis structure, draw all the pairs of electrons. Right here is your best Lewis structure for this molecule. And what you can see is SO3 uh, sulfur trioxide 
has three electron groups. which means it is trigonal planar. SP2 hybridized and bond angles of a perfect 120 degrees. 120 being the general angle and then the sulfur has no pairs of electrons around the center. Oh good, 120 is a choice. Tamiwa, did you have a question? If so, jump in. If not, no worries. 